Team coverage of the extreme heat continues now with important safety information. CBS News Nally Dudridge live in Battery Park with the tips you need to know today. Nally. Good morning, Chris and Mary. Well, we're not sweating yet here at 4.30. There's actually kind of a nice breeze here in Battery Park, uh, but the National Weather Service actually just updated an advisory minutes ago. New York City hasn't seen an advisory yet, but starting today, 12 noon through Sunday, you want to watch out. And that's why Governor Hochul, as well as Mayor Adams, are continuing to urge New Yorkers to pay attention to this heat because it can pose serious health risks like heat stroke. Symptoms include dizziness, headache, confusion. In fact, they tell us that each year 350 New Yorkers die from the extreme heat. Now, experts say it's crucial to stay hydrated. Of course, avoid strenuous activity. You don't want to go for a run peak uh, heat hours of the day. Uh, try to stay in air conditioned environments or in the shade as much as possible. Basic things you can do drink plenty of water, avoid alcohol and caffeine. That can dehydrate you. And a re important reminder never leave children or pets in a parked car, even with the windows down. Those temperatures in Inside a vehicle can rise rapidly. Now, speaking of our furry friends, you don't want to walk dogs on the hot pavement either, as that can burn their paws. So, check on vulnerable populations, as authorities have been saying all week elderly family members, neighbors, people with chronic illnesses, and as well, Con Ed urging residents to conserve energy where possible. Don't run your washers, your dryers during the peak hours. Keep blinds closed. Set thermostats to a higher temperature. They're even saying, 78, though that seems high when you come in doors from 90 degrees, 78 is actually feeling not that bad. So again, if you don't have an air conditioner, you're going to want to visit a cooling center, libraries, malls. Uh, there's an interactive map that you, you can plug in your zip code, your area. It'll tell you where to go. So we just did that uh, right near us. We have the option for two libraries. So again, it's not too hot right now, but when we do get hot, we can head on over to those two out libraries where they're going to be blasting AC for everyone to enjoy today. So not too bad here yet in Battery Park. Uh, but it sure will be. We'll send it back to you in the newsroom, Chris and Mary. Okay, Nellie, thank you. New York also working to keep kids safe at school during extreme heat. A proposed law just passed by the state legislature said at 82 degrees in a classroom, action is required. That means windows open and fans on. But at 88 degrees, the classroom must be vacated. More than 1,000 teachers and students agree with that move. It's unhealthy, it's unsafe. Teachers were reporting last year in September that they were leaving with migraines, um, signs of heat exhaustion, and just clothes soaked through with sweat. Bill needs Governor Hochul's signature to become law for now. State law only mandates that classrooms are no colder than 65 degrees. Thousands of Con Edison workers could be days away from going on strike during this extreme heat. The Utility Workers Union of America is in contract negotiations. A union rep tells us they have strike authorization from members and could potentially go on strike midnight Sunday if a deal is not reached. The union representing about 8,000 workers in our area and the strike would affect field crews and customer service representatives. Con Ed confirms they are in contract negotiations. Mm. Don't need that. that. For more information on this extreme heat sticking around, our first alert team will bring you continuing coverage on air, streaming on our platform, CBS News New York, and at our website, cbsnewyork.com.